Echinococcus granulosus. Today we will discuss about this cystode. Also called as dog tip worm or hyper tip worm or hydrated worm that dwells in the small intestine and cause cystic echinococcosis also known as hydrated disease they mainly affect liver lung kidney and brain of humans and cows it was first documented in alaska but distributed worldwide and the communities that practice sea farming they are at high risk to humans but uh, wild animals can also serve as an avenue for transmission the size of adult tip worm ranges in length from 3 mm to 6 mm and has three different segments called as proglottids the definitive host for this parasite is dog wolf fox jackal and the intermediate host are sheep pig cattle goat and humans and the larval form of this parasite cause the disease known as hydrated disease due to the cyst mainly that is called as hydrated cyst here you can see the life cycle of this parasite detailed diagram of life cycle here you can see both kind of definitive host intermediate host and humans in this diagram the life cycle of this parasite evolves drugs and wild carnivores as a definitive host for the adult tip worm definitive host are where parasite reach maturity and reproduce wild or domesticated ungulates such as sheep serve as an intermediate host transition between life stages occur in intermediate host mainly the larval stage results in the formation of echinococcal cyst in intermediate host echinococcal cyst are slow growing but can cause clinical symptoms in humans and be life threatening in most of the cases cyst may not initially cause symptoms in some cases for many years symptom develops depend on location of the cyst but most occur in the liver lungs or in both parts of the body the infective stage is amniotic eggs present in feces and the diagnostic stage you can see in the diagram fourth one that is hydrated cyst in liver and lungs Echinococcus require true host type a definitive host and an intermediate host the definitive host of this parasite are dogs and the intermediate host are most commonly sheep however cattle horses pigs goats and camels are also potential intermediate hosts humans can also be an intermediate host for this parasite however this is uncommon and therefore humans are considered as aberrant intermediate host the life expectancy of the parasite coupled with the frequency of treatment and will also play a important role in the rate of infection within a host and the temperature and humidity of the environment can affect the survival of this parasite once sheep are infected 
the infection typically remain within the sheep for life however in other host such as dogs treatment for the parasite is possible however the intermediate host is assumed to retain a greater life expectancy than the definitive host so this is the diagram of adult tape worm the size of the adult worm ranges in length from 3 mm to 6 mm and has three different segments called as proglottids you can see in the diagram immature mature and a gravid proglottid the the average number of eggs per gravid proglottid is 823 this parasite has four suckers on its head skull exporson and also has a rostellum with hooks Several species of this parasite have been identified and all but two are noted to be infective in case of humans. Here you can see two different diagrams of hydrated cyst. Left one is radiological diagram and right one is actual diagram of hydrated cyst at the time of surgical removal the embryo release from an egg develop a hydrated cyst which grows to about 5 to 10 cm within the first year and is able to survive within organs for years Here you can see the diagram of hydrated cyst that contain daughter cell and inner and outer membranes the inner germinal layer called as endocyst and outer one is ectocyst there are mainly three layers cyst sometime grow to be so large that by the end of several years or even decades they can contain several liters of fluid once a cyst has reached a diameter of 1 cm its wall differentiates into thick outer non cellular membrane which covers the thin germinal epithelium from this epithelium cell begins to grow within the cyst and these cells then become speculated and are known as brood capsules you can see in the here you can see the brood capsules in this diagram and brood capsules are the part of the parasite from which protoscolysis bud of in daughter cells cyst or daughter cyst also form within the cyst here you can see some specific feature related to hydrated fluid they are clear colorless with low gravity and slightly acidic ph and contain some specific <coughs> components like sodium chloride sodium sulfate sodium phosphate and sodium and calcium salts of succinate the most important point is that is antigenic in nature means that is helpful in different serological test and helpful in diagnostic procedure that is highly toxic in nature so these are some specific features of hydrated fluid
hydrated sand that is also littered with this hydrated cyst that is also helpful in some diagnostic procedure it's a granular deposit that contain brood capsules here you can see the microscopic diagram of hydrated cyst the right one before we will discuss about diagnosis of this parasite i want to discuss some important point related to transmission of this parasite this parasite is ingested and attached to the mucosa of the intestine in the definitive host and there the parasite will grow into the adult stage adult parasite release eggs within the intestine which will be transported out of the body via feces when contaminated waste is excreted into the environment intermediate host has a potential to contact the parasite by grazing in contaminated pasture and completes the life cycle of this parasite echinococcus is transmitted from the intermediate host to the definitive host by frequent feeding also referred as variety meat or organ meat consuming offal containing this parasite can lead to infection however infection is dependent on many factors adult parasite is harmless in dogs it can be a huge problem in humans although in rare in rare cases the parasite can form a cyst causing cystic kino cocus also known as hydrated disease humans can be infected through intimate behavior with dogs causing a person to accidentally ingest eggs and the cyst can cause pressure on surrounding tissue which may lead to abnormal organ function spontaneous fractures of bone and other neurological effects so these are some important point related to transmission now the most important part that is diagnosis of this parasite so these are the main techniques like cassonis test it's a specific hypersensitive sensitivity test mainly based on hydrated fluid you can perform blood examination some specific urological test molecular test and six puncture techniques and also some x ray ct scans ultrasound and like <coughs> techniques diagnosis in the definitive host the dog may be done by post mortem examination of the small intestine so these are the some important point related to diagnostic procedures now the treatment part the drugs used for the treatment mebendazole and albendazole and you can prevent by deworming of dogs and by maintaining personal prophylaxis if a human become infected there are a variety of method of treatment is available 
the most common treatment in past years has been surgical removal of the hydrated cyst the fluid in the cyst contain antigens as we discussed earlier that can immunologically sensitize the host so cyst manipulation should be performed with caution as the spilling of cyst content can cause anaphylactic shock however in recent year less invasive treatment have been developed such as cyst puncture aspiration of the liquid the injection of chemical and then respiration benzimidazole based chemotherapy is also new treatment option for humans here you can see some common names a parasite belongs to this group like tinea solium poctave worm tinea saginata beef tail worm echinococcus dog tail worm hymenolepis nana h nana dwarf tail worm and h dibinuta that is commonly called as red tail worm